All right, I'm going to go ahead and welcome everybody officially. I think we've got 66 or so on right now. So thank you for um, honoring your interns. And it's National Intern Day. So this is a very appropriate day to do our annual tradition of celebrating the good work of students at the Research Park. This is actually our 14th annual event. So it is, I believe, the longest running event that we've done in the Research Park year after year. We're impressed by the work of students. We're pleased with all the mentors and professionals that make it possible for students to have these amazing experiences and the entrepreneurs and corporations who create the opportunities that allow them to really thrive and contribute to new technology products and company successes. So thank you for being part of this celebration today. It's really been an extraordinary summer and an extraordinary year as it required creativity by students in figuring out how to take classes remotely. It required creativity by managers in figuring out how to remotely uh, make a team function. And this summer also trying to keep things fun. So thank you for all of you who've made it possible to have a great work atmosphere, even if it hasn't been the way that all of us would like. We know you all are probably also experiencing unprecedented type of situations in your own personal lives. So um, we're thinking of you. We uh, really think that the Research Park is a, a great family experience for many of the people who have the chance to work here and be part of this peer community. So thank you for being a part of it. We hope that you're able to endure what has been a challenging time and still find some bright spots like today to see the wins that we can accomplish even through experiences like this. So for all of those uh, managers out there that are motivating your students, thank you. And for the students that inspire us, thank you for giving us a bright, a bright point of the year. Today's event is made possible by managers that nominated students, and they were looking for people who went above and beyond. The hard work that they saw in their respective companies really should be recognized, and we don't get to recognize far enough of the students who work in the park, about 850 at a given time. So you're only a snapshot of those students, and if you're not mentioned today and observing, that doesn't mean you weren't exemplary also but our judges had their work cut out for them. And that included the people I'd like to recognize for helping this year with judging, including Kristen Phelps from AbbVie, Gus Theofanis, who is leaving us from State Farm. He gave a, a farewell talk yesterday, April Hoffert from ADM, Gabriel Burks from Frost Defense, and Desiree Bainbridge from our own team here at Enterprise Works. If I announce your name as a finalist, please give us a wave. I would actually prefer if you can do a little thumbs up or a reaction on the Zoom that might help us um, to identify you a little bit more quickly. And we'd like you to say a few words. Um, if you're a manager and you nominated the person, rather than me read some excerpts of their nomination, I'd love for you to say in your own words something about this respective student. Winners are welcome to talk a little bit about their experience this summer. And in the interest of time, please do try to keep your speeches relatively short. Winners will receive certificates in the mail, and if we think of other ways to recognize you, we will. Um, we wish we were able to give you hugs and other things in person. Without further ado, um, we're gonna give a congratulations to our first award of the day, and that will be for the finalists of the most outstanding undergraduate interns. And the finalists for the category are Harry, Zhao, engineering intern at Caterpillar and an undergraduate in aerospace engineering. Harry is present. Thumbs up. I see you, Harry. Um, and your manager, if present. I'm also yeah. here. Both of you. Great. So off of mute, I'm going to take give you the microphone to talk a little bit about your experience. Harry, you go first. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. Um, so obviously I'm honored to be a finalist for most outstanding graduate intern. Um, it's been a really weird summer having to work from home. My office for the past 10 weeks has been my bedroom, but I mean, I'm really glad I got to work with David's team. Um, it, I had a great experience. I learned a lot too. Um, I mean, I went to, I'm an aerospace engineer, so I went into this thinking, it's like, oh, I can't really, it's a software job. I can't really do that, can I? But I had, I pulled some experience from like robotics and from some other projects I've done. And I thought I did a pretty good job with it. And I was really proud of myself for how it went. But obviously, um, 
I'm just grateful for the opportunity to work at Caterpillar and to work with all these great people that are around. Yeah, I had a few words to Harry. It's a great work. I nominate him be not because, uh, you know, uh, he's second generation Caterpillar. He worked hard, but uh, the most important thing is he's uh, showed a very great attitude in the work and uh, all the, you know, uh, skill to solve the problem. And he's, uh, he's being uh, um, put in some challenge, very challenging tasks, uh, working on some industry leading software development. And I cannot imagine uh, in uh, aerospace engineering students can do amazing work uh, as other computer science students. Plus he's an uh, engineering background. So all these make it happen. And he's, uh, he's really um, helping us, you know, uh, to build a, a leading software in this industry. So congratulate to Harry. Thank you, Harry, and thank you, Caterpillar. I'm gonna to go to the next undergraduate student. And that is Dominic de Girolamo from State Farm Research and Development Center. He is an undergraduate student in actuarial science. Hey there. There he is. And is his manager present as well? That's, that's me right here. Oh, hi, Brian. Okay, floor is yours to talk about your experience, Dominic. And Brian, if you have a few words about your work with him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's been an incredible summer at State Farm. I know the number out there is that 4% of all those corporate internships still remained uh, going virtually. And so just really grateful to be able to have this experience. Um, I've really gotten to develop myself professionally uh, through this internship, and it's been a great compliment to the classroom, being able to apply every single thing that I've learned uh, just to the next level. And so it's really transformed me as an actuary and just as a uh, young professional and just can't be more grateful for this experience that's offered to me throughout the school year and especially during the summer during the pandemic. And so just huge thank you to State Farm and all of the managers that um, allowed me to have this experience. Thanks, Dominic. And I think it's kind of fun to know where some of you are working from remotely if you're interested in sharing. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm located uh, about 30 minutes outside of Champaign in a small town called Bahamut. Yep, and I can chime in with a, a few extra words. So I met Dominic back in the spring um, when it was his second semester of the internship. And despite his hesitations, uh, we threw him into a lead intern role over the summer. Um, and right from the get-go, he just thrived. He did an excellent job. And I think that's because um, he just has that really strong work ethic um, that allows him to really lead by example. Uh, he's a great guy that's really easy to talk to, and so he's developed really strong relationships with all of his team members um, and the supervisors at the RDC. And he's also just a really smart guy. Um, he has a lot of that natural raw talent. Um, so with all that, I'm just so happy that he was named a finalist, and I know that he will make a, a great actuary someday. Awesome. Our next student is from Abby, Jessica Huang, a market research analyst and she is an undergraduate student in accounting and information systems. Jessica, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Hi, Jessica, and Jerome and I uh, nominated you from Abbey Innovation Center. Yeah, um, first of all, obviously, thank you to the Abbey Innovation Center for giving me like my first ever internship experience. Um, this is actually my second summer working at Abbey, and I'm really grateful to have the opportunity when my other internship got shortened and I was able to have this professional experience. Um, thank you to obviously Jerome, Kirsten, and like my project manager, Krupa, for all the work that they have done and all the advice that they've given me throughout like this um, experience. I'm really, really grateful for all the resources and advice that the center has provided me. And I'm really happy to have so many close relationships with the people that I've worked with um, throughout my time at Market Research Team. So thank you again for nominating me for this award. Jerome? Yep, yeah, so Jerome, I'm standing in for Jerome. Um, this is Kirsten Phelps from Abbey, and um, just wanted to say a few words about Jessica. Uh, she was nominated in part um, because of the wonderful comments that uh, Krupa Patel, her uh, supervisor, and Alan Bell um, wrote for her. And Jessica serves on the market research team, like she had mentioned, which is our internal consulting team for Abbey. And her time this summer has made a huge impact, um, not just on the business units that she's served. She's actually completed over five projects for various internal clients. 
um, each time going above and beyond what is required. And this illustrates her passion and her drive um, and just her intellectual curiosity and how she contributes. But one of the things that her team members really mentioned was that she doesn't only help um, with the content of what the team does, but how they do their work. And they row just raved about Jessica's um, you know, the fact that she's able to deliver high quality results, but that she also makes the team a really fun place to be. And so her personality, her positive energy, um, her compassion, her team members say really help them be their best selves and motivate them to do the work that they do. So um, big congratulations to Jessica. She's making a huge impact here at Abby and we are very excited to have her. Thanks, Abby. And thank you for all your hard work. And last but not least, we have Anders Cox, and he is at Starfire Industries, one of the startup success stories of the research park that began in the incubator and has its own building, as you can see, featured behind Anders. And I see the CEO and founder of the company, Brian Jurisic, is on the call today. Anders is studying electrical engineering at the University of Illinois. Hello. Thank you for the uh, nomination. Uh, I'd also like to thank Brian for the nomination. Uh, my, this is actually my third summer here at Starfire. Um, so as you can tell, I really like it here. Um, I've gotten to work on lots of great projects and uh, work with lots of great people. Um, and I've definitely improved my skills here as an engineer. Um, so thank you. And uh, this is Brian here and I'll, I'll say a few words. Uh, so Anders, he said he started out uh, as an intern at Starfire going back a couple years ago and I had actually two full, really full summers working on two major projects with uh, Fortune 500 companies uh, with our company. And uh, uh, he was nominated for the position because uh, Anders in electrical engineering. So Anders, well, when he uh, uh, jo joined our team, he brought a exemplary work ethic uh, with outstanding dedication to not only the projects, but also to our team members and customers. Uh, one of the major things he did was embed himself directly with a PhD and basically become sort of the right hand, left hand uh, of the PhD team and to really dive in with the equipment and also uh, with uh, the technology that we had on two different. So last summer and then this summer, uh, the previous summer, he worked with a, pro a project with General Motors, uh, working on the vehicle light weighting for uh, electric vehicles uh, and actually using a plasma process to, uh, to, to, to help out. He actually got to come up with a, a system to run not only a few coupons, but thousands of coupons to build a huge, uh, a huge database of uh, information that GM was like, this is fantastic. We're going to go ahead and put something in a pilot line, which is pretty amazing. But then we pivoted because we had actually a new project coming along with uh, a major nuclear company in the United States. Uh, and Anders got embedded in on this project, got to build a, uh, a, a technology demonstrator and got it up and working in a period of, a, of about a week and a half so that we could give a demo uh, to senior executive leadership with this company. Uh, he actually got to demo and operate the equipment in front of folks uh, and produce some of the first pieces of equipment uh, and test articles uh, that led to uh, not only a patent application being filed, but also to um, uh, a phase two SBIR project and a phase one SBIR project with NASA and Department of Energy. Pretty amazing. So uh, I just wanna say that Andrews has done awesome. Uh, we like him so much. Uh, that we offered him a full-time job and he accepted it yesterday. So there it is. So, <laughs> so thanks, Anders. Uh, uh, I, I'm glad that you were nominated as a finalist. Wow. Well, that's a good way to, uh, to transition uh, to awarding this year's two winners instead of just one. And maybe not surprising to you, as you just heard Brian talk about Anders Cox, that he is one of the winners Congratulations to Anders and congratulations to Harry Zhao. And thank you for all your contributions to Caterpillar and Starfire Industries. Thank you very much. Okay, yep, thank you. our next category was supposed to be the earlier category. So hopefully my interns on our team will get me back in line of where I was supposed to be talking about is a award that is specific to the type of work we do here at the incubator, which is helping startup companies. And this award goes to somebody who has the best entrepreneurial leadership in a startup company. And there was a unanimous decision. So we have one student that we'll be recognizing in this category. I'm giving, giving it just a moment if we could get to the slide. Here we go. So we have Grayson Scher, and he is a research associate at Editech. 
and I see him on and he's clapping. So that's good. Congratulations, <laughs> Grayson. And your manager, Catherine Chen, if she's available to say a few words about your work this summer at Editech. Yeah, sure. This is Catherine at Editech. So first of all, we, I also want to congrats, I mean, Grayson on the award. And we are fortunate to have Grayson in our team. So he has contributed, I mean, significant effort into our design control system and the computational model of our surface modification during this summer. I think one of the most important characterization for an entrepreneur is like of self-motivation. So Grayson is really passionate about his work and he's also like a quick learner. So who can adapt like the virus challenge and he's quick to understand a new concept and also to immediately consider the application of the new methodology to do that. Uh, I think he's like articulate and dependable. We always kind of knew what we expected from him. And I want to point out the reason why we nominate him in this category, because his undergrad training was in our engineering, aerospace engineering, but he has touched many new areas while working with us. Specifically, in this situ in this summer is a design control, which is a quality control system for medical device. So that's why he is really to take willing to take the new concept and really to design a whole system for us. So I would say, I mean, his drive and also communication skills makes him an excellent team member and also a project leader. So congrats. Thank you. Uh, I guess uh, I could say a few words too. Um, first, I, I, I'd really like to um, thank thank you guys for nominating and selecting me. It's been an absolute joy to be uh, to have the opportunity to work at Editech. Um, and I'd, I'd like to especially thank um, Zach and Catherine and of course our fearless founder, JP, uh, for affording me, you know, not only the freedom, but also the, the trust to um, allow me to explore kind of like these leadership and these these entrepreneurial roles uh, and kind of stretch those muscles and uh, learn new things. So it's been an absolute pleasure working there. And uh, I'd just like to thank everyone again. Congratulations. We appreciate you being part of the Research Park and helping this startup company to be able to keep going and keep advancing during a challenging year. Thank you, Grayson. Our next award is going to be recognition of the most outstanding graduate students. Working in research park companies, and we have the following finalists. The first we will recognize is at Cargill, Jia Lu Yen, and this is a PhD student in physics at the University of Illinois and nominated by Jen Quinlan from the Cargill Innovation Lab, a company that opened about a year ago here in the research park. I know I saw Jen. Hi, Laura. Yes, uh, Jalu and I are on the line. I, I can start real quick. So I've had the pleasure of working with Jalu for roughly about half a year. Um, she is incredibly talented and has been a highly sought after data science intern within our program and R&D at Cargill. Um, just looking past uh, over the previous semester, uh, Jalu worked on a really interesting challenge in regards to how can we better predict plant downtimes based upon analysis of some sensor data. Um, and the algorithms that she constructed, the data analysis that she completed um, was very useful to the team and is currently being implemented to help transform how we can predict those downtimes and, and avoid those downtimes moving forward. So, um, you know, on top of that, uh, she's just been a, she's been a big professional and so hardworking um, and very fun to work with. She, she even plays along when I make the interns do crazy things like starting a garden in the office and competing over who can grow beans the fastest. So. Um, I just wanted to congratulate Jalu, uh, well worth, um, well received in regards to earning this uh, accolade, and um, I, I wish her much success in career next steps. Jalu, thanks for starting a garden amongst the technology projects as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you so much, Jen, for nominating me, and uh, it seems there's uh, something wrong with my camera. I, I'm not sure how to, yeah, so basically, yeah. Um, it's it's really great honor to work in Cargill. Um, I think from January 
and uh, it's really great honor to work with um, Jen. And uh, I also learned a lot because uh, initially I'm, um, my, my background is in physics and in um, uh, like cancer genomics, but through this project, I learned more about the industry. And I also, um, um, so, uh, know like how to uh, better communicate with people and uh, how to develop uh, my skills. So thank you very much. Thank you. Our next nomination and finalist is for Eric Cheng, and he is from the Abbey Innovation Center. And I know Kirsten has joined us today, and maybe she can tell you more about his work. He is a PhD student in food science and statistics. Um, hi, everyone. So we are um, very happy that um, Eric um, is working here with us um, at AbbVie and he works as a data analyst with our epidemiology department um, and he in that role really supports the business unit and their data needs and they're kind of self-described as the firemen of AbbVie. They respond to different emerging issues and so they need data that can help them do that in a timely and really well-informed manner. And Eric has been an invaluable part of that team member, um, that team, and he's been able to impress not only his supervisors and the quality and the impact of his work, but he's also been able to really um, quickly learn about a new area. So coming from food science and then kind of going into learning about pediatric stroke, yeah. um, yeah. he's been able to contribute very significantly. And one of the main contributions that he's um, worked out and worked on this summer has been um, an R software package that he actually developed that improves the ability of the business unit to create tables, um, graphs, and then also conduct, conduct different statistical analyses from relevant literature. And this was an existing gap in the team and Eric's um, initiative and drive and his skills allowed him to make a really significant contribution and impact the business. And he not only developed this package, but he also worked on making it user friendly and creating a, a GUI dashboard so that um, not only folks within the department, but ideally um, Abby Wide would be able to work on this. And then he also had the foresight to think about also creating a user manual to make sure that the legacy of a software would be usable for the department even after his time. So, and I will say that his direct supervisor, um, Denise Lesk, has helped provide some information um, to support him in this nomination. And she, who has worked with a number of graduate students um, in her various roles, has rated Eric as one of the top 0.5% um, of students that she's ever worked with. So we think that that's high praise and that's high praise that we also echo. So thank you, Eric, for um, being with this summer with Abby. Uh, Eric? Yes. Uh, so hi, everybody. Um, so I'm really honored and grateful to be uh, nominated. This is actually my first official internship. Uh, so uh, this nomination means a lot to me. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, thank you to Denise Oleski, uh, who's my supervisor. Uh, although she has a very busy schedule, she always finds time to sort of teach me everything I need to know about epidemiology, and she always answers my questions. Um, so I'm really happy and really grateful for that. And I also, um, I want to thank uh, Jerome and Kirsten for being very supportive, and they, you know, they're always willing to help me and then answer all my questions and give me courage uh, when I, you know, uh, when I'm preparing for my presentation. So um, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. While I'm on Abviet, why don't we go to Grant Greenberg, who's also a, a finalist this year. Many outstanding students at Abvi, and I believe they had more student interns this year than anyone else. So I know they're picking amongst their best. Um, neuroscience Bioinformatics. Grant is a PhD student in electrical and computer engineering. So yeah, we, um, the hardest thing is, is finding out with all of these nominations. We are very lucky to work with such a wonderful um, group of students and Grant is one of those that we consider um, one of our kind of highly uh, motivated and really um, wonderful um, employees. And he works with our neuroscience um, bioinformatics team actually in Germany. And the work that he is on is in exploring biomarker research related to Alzheimer's disease. And so um, he not only has impressed his uh, supervisor, Astrid Watcher, who helps provide information for this nomination um, and applying deep learning and AI tools to different RNA and sequencing data, um, but he's been able to contribute his project also in his willingness to see the big picture and ask relevant questions that not only have helped 
support um, advancements for scientists working on the computational side, but then also on the neuroscience side of the team. And so being highly motivated, he's been able to show flexibility in teamwork and his ability to engage with colleagues in meaningful ways overseas. Um, but his supervisors also mentioned, and I will echo this, um, is that Grant is also very engaged and has shown a willingness to be a mentor and a resource um, to his student teammates. He volunteered to support community building with interns working on similar projects um, with his team um, overseas. And he's also been involved and been a great participant in numerous AIC events that we've had here um, with our students. And we think that that really shows not only his contributions on the technical side of the work that he's doing with AbbVie, but also in really encouraging um, a team spirit, even in the remote setting that we find ourselves in. And so his, his supervisors really wanted to acknowledge Grant's contributions um, for his technical work, and then also the ways in which he exemplifies all for one AbbVie. Thank Thanks. you. Kirsten. Yeah, it's been a really amazing summer at Abby. Um, Kirsten and Jerome have put on a lot of awesome events and been very supportive of all the interns, uh, and that's made it really enjoyable. Um, as an engineering background, it's been cool getting to learn about the biology side of Alzheimer's and the drug pipeline in general. Um, a lot of these events that Jerome and Kirsten have put on, I've been people from Abbey, other places that uh, we've gotten to hear a lot of interesting things that what they do, whether it's cancer or the drug development pipeline, et cetera. And yeah, I've met a lot of awesome people here. Thank you. Thanks, Grant. And next we're going to Jack Massey, a property and casualty actuarial science intern at State Farm who is a master's in statistics students at the university. And he was nominated by his manager, AJ Garter. I see Gus on, so if I don't have, oh, yep, AJ's on. Hi, everyone. This is AJ Gartner, and uh, thanks for the opportunity to help everyone get to know Jack. It's really been a pleasure working with Jack this past summer, and he led a team that developed a generalized linear model to help State Farm better match price to risk for our commercial business customers. Jack really excelled in his leadership role this summer. He understood that the strongest leaders are those that help grow others around them, and he consistently exhibited this understanding. He worked on a team with two other interns and he was a great role model for them. Jack freely shared his tacit knowledge that he had on both generalized linear modeling and with the statistical programming language SAS. And uh, this was done in an easily consumable manner and it really showed in that the teammates were able to fully contribute to the project by the end of the summer. And they're both in great shape to lead a modeling project of their own in the future. He also went out of his way to let others on the team handle chunks of the project independently so that they could grow their own skills. And he gave them lots of opportunities to hone their communication skills as well as they presented their work to corporate contacts um, throughout State Farm, throughout the entire company. So to end, a big thank you to the Research Park community and leadership for recognizing Jack's efforts. And a really, really big thank you to Jack for your work this summer. It's been very much appreciated. Thank, thank you to AJ Gartner, his manager, and Jack, if you want to share a few words about your internship. Yeah, I really appreciate the, the nomination. Um, it's a great honor. I'm actually in Florida right now, so pretty far away from Champaign, Illinois. So um, it's been a crazy summer. Uh, this is my second semester with State Farm. Um, and I just really want to thank AJ for, the, for putting me up for this um, and all his guidance and help this semester, uh, you know, being virtually everything. And then also, yeah, I want to thank my uh, teammates. Um, like he said, I was the lead intern this semester. So um, just getting to, uh, you know, be in charge of them and mentor them has been a great help and they've been awesome. Um, and also just thank State Farm for, for keeping the internship. You know, it's been said before, um, not many places got to, got to keep going this summer. So uh, I really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, I really feel like I improved my skill as a data scientist and a modeler and really improved those uh, lead, lead internship skills. and. Um, Really looking forward to next semester as I'm going to be continuing to be a, a State Farm intern in, in the fall virtually as well. Thank you. So I'd like to now recognize the most outstanding graduate student working in the research park as nominated this year as the winner, Eric Chang. Thank you. Congratulations. I guess we already had you speak, so I'm going to move on to the next category and just say congratulations. Okay, thank you. Next category, we will be highlighting 
the Best Technical Innovation Award in the Research Park. And our first nominee, finalist, is Eric Chang also made this one. So I'm just going to let you say just a quick word about a couple of words about your technical innovation. And Eric, I think that was an anomaly. So um, you're popular uh, today. Yeah, thank you uh, for, for nom nominating. Uh, thank you for nominating me this uh, uh, award. I actually didn't know about this. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you again for all the support and help. Um, and uh, I, I'm really, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Okay, and next we're going to go to Ali Tagi Bakshi, and this is a student of robotics intern at John Deere Technology Innovation Lab, a PhD student in mechanical engineering. Uh, hello, and thank you for your ceremony. Thanks, everyone. Uh, it's been a, a great productive summer for me, and I've learned a lot and applied my knowledge and uh, also state-of-the-art papers and, uh, you know, the research stuff sent to work. And uh, my project was a big one, uh, AI for uh, local nav navigation of uh, mowers. And... Um, I've been working with a great team, um, so I'm so grateful for uh, having Nathan Ogden as my manager and also Mark Moran as a director of the JD Tech and also uh, people who helped me a lot is, uh, like Chad Ackerman, uh, Blake Hedrick, Carl Clinton for their uh, great uh, contribution and thoughtful comments uh, and also I uh, I really improved my skill of uh, breaking down hard problems into small pieces and solving them uh, separately. It has an amazing power to uh, solve a um, big problems. So that's that was learned uh, during this internship and uh, I really enjoy working here. So uh, yeah, I really appreciate this, yeah. We have Nate to say a few words or Mark. I don't know if we have a manager from John Deere. I don't see somebody, so I'm gonna to move to the next finalist, Catherine Ritchie. And she's at Symbiosis, one of the startup companies at Enterprise Works, working on uh, new cancer treatments. And this is an undergraduate student in computer science, working as a modeling intern. So cancer, cancer modeling at Symbiosis. Catherine, are you present? Yes, I am. Um... Uh, I just want to say a really massive thank you to Joe, John, the other John, Tyler, Mike, Tushar, and especially my manager, Daniel. Um, he's created like an awesome atmosphere. Um, it's a really nice company culture to work at Symbiosis, and any intern would be super lucky to work there. Thank you, Catherine. Can you tell us a little bit about the modeling work you did? Yeah, so we're actually working on creating breast cancer and lung cancer models um, uh, using linear optimization problems. And so this summer we've been working on introducing some um, more complex models to build off of uh, what's currently being done at Symbiosis. Great. And I, do we have anybody from Symbiosis here? From uh, She had three managers, I think, uh, contribute to her nomination. Uh, yes, we do. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Um, I just like to say, uh, Kate started the summer by taking a PhD dissertation and recreating it uh, in a different modeling language. Uh, and not only recreating it, but also uh, extending it and making it better. And that was just the start. So the problem that we had her working on was how do you connect between different scales in biology? And as all of you who do any sort of biology know, this is a, an extremely hard problem. And so Kate's been able to develop a, just a plethora of software that lets us naturally connect between scales of biology to better predict response to chemotherapy. So she's done a fantastic job, and I'm absolutely happy that she is a finalist for this award. Thanks, Daniel, and congratulations. Uh, Catherine Ritchie is the winner in this category for best technological innovation. Okay, our next category. Moving right along is for best non-technical innovation, which is important to supplement all those types of projects well. And our first finalist that we'll be recognizing is Nupar Bardwa from Motorola Solutions. 
is a human resources and community intern at Motorola. Now I'll say, I don't get to know many of the students working in the companies, especially when we're working remotely, but this is a student I seem to keep hearing about week after week for all the creative energy she was putting in as an undergraduate student in marketing, making it a special place at Motorola Solutions this summer. I think Craig Ibbotson, her manager, is present to talk about her work. Yeah, I'm thrilled to actually be able to talk about Nuper today. Um, you know, one of the challenges all of us had this summer as we went to this virtual and for some of us hybrid environment, how do you create a sense of community? How do you keep those ties? How do you kind of get your culture to be ingrained in the interns? Nuper um, had to pivot from her original internship position, which was mostly going to be focusing on human resources. And I asked her, I said, Nuper, if this summer, if you could just focus on creating this sense of community. And so she fully embraced that. She did a significant amount of research on how to best doing that. She's written multiple papers on how to best, you know, she began the year by telling interns how to, how to best work remotely. She gave us all presentations on how to work in hybrid environments. But more than that, she created a whole set of activities that actually created community. A quick list. She created a book club that she ran. She created a movie club that she ran. She, she ran a virtual talent show for all of us. We had a virtual wine and painting party that she ran and put on. You know, we're really big on serving the community. And so she found on-site and virtual uh, volunteer events that we could all participate in so that we were able to kind of think beyond ourselves in the midst of all this that's going on. Um, we have, we're using Agile, so we have sprints. She created sprint demos or sprint celebrations at the end of every sprint. And I think one of the most effective things she did in the beginning, I'd never participated in this before, was she came up with this concept of a circle of positivity. And, you know, it's an opportunity for the interns to get together and to affirm each other. You know, you kind of go and you, you say something affirming about one and then it moves on until everybody's reached. And it's been extraordinary to watch that through the semester as we get to the end now, just how that has built ties that bind among the interns. I even had one intern tell me, you know what? I feel like now I'm not even going to work every day. I feel like I'm going in and just spending the day with friends, even though it's virtual. And as a testament to Nuper, if you look at the list of people on this meeting, all of our interns actually joined because they wanted to support her in this. And so really, really pleased with Nuper. Fantastic job and took something and ran with it and made the summer an amazing experience for all my interns. Um, uh, thank you guys so much. Um, special shout out to all of uh, the interns at Motor Solutions. You guys are honestly the best. And make my job all the more fun. And what Craig said is completely true. Um, if it wasn't for all the people that I worked with, um, my job wouldn't be as exciting as it is. And I truly love logging on every single day and seeing all their smiling faces. Um, also a huge shout out to Craig um, and the whole Research Park team. I know that I've worked closely a lot with a lot of you guys um, and specifically Craig, he's been the most amazing role model and mentor um, to me. And uh, the whole Research Park team, you guys have been amazing ask, answering like all my questions that I have all the time. Um, and just really making my job amazing and super fun to have. So thank you guys so much um, for this nomination. You guys are obviously the best and make my job awesome. Very cool. We all need a new per to keep us going during this, I think. Okay, our next intern that we will be recognizing is Vishank Gai, who is a project manager at Country Financial Digital Lab, an undergraduate student in computer science and economics, nominated by Julia Hart. I'm super uh, excited and this came out of a complete surprise. Um, I've actually been part of the lab since freshman year when I started at the university and all thanks to Julia for letting me come on board with the new lab in Country Financial and you know, it's been amazing three years um, working across you know changing the mindset of the company to actually working setting up a whole agile framework at, at the lab and how we actually work with the company knowing that our schedules are very much different and we don't work 40 hours a week and then actually going into strategy execution and then it's been super fun and uh, appreciate uh, you guys holding this. Sounds pretty technical if you're in the wrong category you're still awesome. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Julia, I think you're trying to, to butt in and say some nice words about him. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was just going to say that Vishak was one of my very first hires when the lab opened in late 2017. So he's been here, I've probably been here only about four weeks longer than Vishak. So he knows just as much as I do about the home office. And it's been, you know, a, a, a challenge, but he's really stepped up to the plate and he's managed, he was hired as a data scientist and he transitioned into the project manager role. 
I think I counted it up and he was over 20 or 30 projects that he's managed in the last three semesters alone. Um, and that crosses both the data and the dev side. So he's, you know, got a wealth of knowledge that he brings to the table from both of those areas. The students really um, respect and rely on a lot of his expertise to keep them um, moving forward on the projects and the home office as well. I mean, he is, uh, you know, a junior now, but he's already had job offers from, from country. Um, so they, they really like his work and he's works really great with the team. So we're, we're honored to have him. And he actually led the team um, this past summer. We just won a Novarica Impact Award, which is a CIO insurance award, if you've heard about it. It's a nationwide award. And the Digital Lab actually won it on a project that Vishank led. So great job. That's awesome. Thanks, Julia. And our next category, our next finalist in this category is Anne Zukarnine, and she is a UX UI designer at Cargill, and she's an undergraduate student studying industrial design. Hi, uh, I want to thank Jen for the nomination. She was really supportive throughout this entire internship, and she really helped me um, grow professionally, especially as a UI UX designer. Um, overall, for this internship, I really learned a lot, especially in the development side, since I was working with software developers. And um, in UI UX, I learned a lot about the feed formula industry, and that was really informational, and um, it was a really great experience to be in this internship. Thanks, Anne. Jen? Uh, th thanks, Anne. Um, so yes, Anne has been amazing designer on our team this summer. Um, to put in context, she was handed a project that had zero of the user discovery completed, and in a ridiculously tight timeline, interviewing a variety of stakeholders that were formulators within the company, understanding the current software, how it works, um, analyzing those user tasks, coming up with wireframes, vetting them across three rounds of additional interviews and research. And uh, she is a stellar designer and built beautiful high fidelity UI that is also logical and makes sense. That, um, you know, it, it's, it's pretty exciting showing the final look and feel of the clickable prototype and actually the software prototype too two stakeholders at Cargill that have worked with the same software for 10, 15 years that said, oh, I didn't know it could look or feel like that. <laughs> so so if, if that is not a vote of confidence in her skills and her potential uh, stepping into this career after she graduates a, a year in the future, um, I don't know what is. So Anne, you've done a great job and it's been a pleasure having you on the team. And I am thrilled uh, that you're coming back uh, this fall to join us for your senior year. Thanks, Jen. And it's my pleasure to not only um, congratulate each of our finalists, but to award the winner in this category of best non-technical innovation. And maybe not a surprise that she had me at virtual painting party and the list of games that we could all play this summer with our teams and this spring. Nupar, congratulations on your award at Motorola Solutions. Thank you guys so much. Yay, okay. Next category, we are moving to a team award that complete, completed our individual awards. And this is for the most collaborative and competent team working in the research park amongst the students. Since I just had Jen, I'm gonna keep Jen on the spot and talk about her Cargill team, which included two other students. And this recognizes Johnny Chang and Jamie Lim another UI, UX UI designer, and an engineering intern working on software and hardware projects. Sounds good, Laura. Yeah, that, thanks so much. Uh, Johnny and Jamie have been an incredible, what I would almost consider a uh, software and hardware prototype development team. So it's a 100% student-based team. Um, they've worked over the past 14 weeks to take a concept which had to do with how could we employ hardware uh, in the back of the house, in some kitchens at quick service restaurants, help make it easier for employees to pick the right ingredients every time to make the right dish. And they went from loose concept to hardware plan to hardware that actually functions in the period of two weeks, uh, which just absolutely blew away our clients and stakeholders. And not only that, uh, but they've done industry research, interviewed real employees. They've um, built out user interface designs to show how this can scale. Um, this has been received so well that our clients at Cargill and some of their contacts are at the point that they want to take this idea and then take it out to some of these big, big chain restaurants and show it to their uh, engineering teams to see what's possible and how we could test this in the field. Um, so, um, you know, I think the magic happens when you have talented designers and talented engineers working side by side. 
And uh, Johnny and Jamie excelled at this and did it remotely, which is just incredible what they were able to accomplish, especially um, on a hardware prototype this summer. So great job, team. Thanks, Jen. We have Johnny, electrical engineer, and Jamie, industrial design student on the call today. Yep. Yep, very good. Yep, uh, Johnny will be speaking for us. OK. <laughs> well, first of all, uh, I really want to thank like, Jen for being such a great mentor. Um, so Jen has been like cons constantly you know, hosting like socials and one-on-ones and really getting to know um, each uh, each interns and really knowing like, oh, uh, if, cause this is all like a really stressful time for all, everyone. And then she has been constantly uh, uh, talking to us and building, trying to build this uh, uh, team culture. And, and you know, I've, and also I really want to thank like, Jamie to be such an amazing teammate, just being really responsive, uh, very creative, and also just really fun to work with, I guess. And I'm really grateful to be part of the uh, team at Target and I'm really thankful for the nomination. Thanks. Thanks, Johnny. Mm -hmm. And next, we're going to go to the Cloud Animal Health team. And this team includes Rishi Chahari, an undergraduate student in systems engineering and design, Fetus Aikalina, an undergraduate student, student in graphic design, Preet Dalada, an undergraduate student in Geographic Information Sciences, and Jane Kim, an undergraduate student in Media and Cinema Studies. And the company founder, Ashley Middick, may add some words about this team. Hi, I, uh, my co-founders and I are, um, we were so excited to work with this amazing team. And, um, I really feel like this team could solve a lot of the world's problems right now. They, they listen to each other. They all have different areas of expertise, but every problem or, or idea we wanted to execute that um, uh, we would throw at them, they would just come up with a solution and then they would build on each other's ideas. And it was really inspirational to watch. Um, and I've, I've worked for the university for 12 years and, I've worked with a lot of amazing teams. Um, this is one of the best teams that I've, I've had, had the opportunity to work with. So thank you everybody so much. Um, our company, even in the past 48 hours, has grown more than we ever thought was possible. And that's because they were able to deliver just this amazing um, website for us that really effectively communicated to, to people all over the world what we were doing. So. Um, thank you to the Research Park for, for um, showcasing them and putting this team together. And thank you, Rishi, Fetus, Prit, and Jane. Um, we'll never be able to repay you, but we're going to try and be the best company possible because of you. So thank you. Thank you, Ashley, from VetMed here at the University of Illinois with a new company. And thank you to this team, which is actually employed here at Enterprise Works, and they help startups across um, the community and actually downstate Illinois that need projects to help them launch. Rishi has done a bunch of great work. So I'm turning to you, Rishi. I know, I know you'll take the stage. Um, thank you, Laura. I just want to thank uh, Ashley, first of all, for allowing us and like, you know, trusting us with this great opportunity. Uh, it's not always easy when you're trying to launch a company to like, you know, trust outsiders with uh, something as crucial as your website. So Ashley, thank you so much for like, you know, giving us the space to like work and like, you know, just not being not just being interested in our work uh, at enterprise works but also being genuinely curious about what we do outside outside uh, in our in our daily life so thank you so much and uh, on the other note it was a great opportunity to work with everyone on the team we, i feel we had a really diverse team and it was just uh, a lot of fun to like you know uh, come together and create something special uh, for cloud animal health so thank you everyone Thank you. And next, we're going to go to a team from Granular. And apparently, Ashley's love their interns because we have Ashley Young as the nominator here from Granular. She nominated Jake Stahl, who's an undergraduate in agriculture, business, market, and management, and Jordan Breedlove, an undergraduate in agricultural business as a team. 
Hi, yeah, I'll uh, say a couple words about Jake and Jordan. They are uh, data specialists on our professional services team at Granular. They're helping to deliver ag software to our customers and their contributions this summer have been just invaluable to our team. Um, they really quickly mastered our product and they immediately got to work digging us out of a task backlog. Um, and they're who we rely on to maintain that backlog week over week. Um, at the start of the summer, their roles were relatively undefined, um, but they took that flexibility and really helped nail down the projects that they could best contribute to. And they've continuously helped me improve our process throughout the summer. Um, I can confidently expect them to choose the right projects, seek the right collaborators, and deliver high quality work week over week. Um, these two are really resourceful and dependable. I know any task I give them will be completed quickly and accurately. Um, and they've stayed successful with a growing amount of responsibility throughout the summer. Um, so we're really fortunate to have them stay on for the fall semester. Um, to be honest, I'm not looking forward to them spending more time in class um, because they've just brought so much uh, value to our team. Um, but you two both uh, really fit this uh, nomination here and thank you guys for, for all you bring to our team. Thank yeah. you, Ashley. We'll go to the team. Yeah, first of all, uh, I just want to say want to say thank you to both Carrie and Ashley for for uh, nominating us for this award. Um, I think Jordan and I both really uh, enjoyed our internship with with Granular this summer. Um, I'd say the most uh, most satisfying part of this internship has just been knowing that the uh, the data work that we do directly impacts our customers' decision making. Um, everybody here at Granular has the has the common goal of increasing farm profitability, and it's it's been really cool to be a part of that this summer. So thank you. Yeah, onboarding and working remote this summer has definitely been an interesting experience as most of everyone on here um, can attest to, but everyone at Granular uh, graciously welcomed us and helped uh, Jake and I be successful, um, especially Carrie Wozniak and Ashley Brown. Um, they're absolutely want to thank them for all they do. Um, Jake has been an amazing resource and um, a great friend, which has helped us not only go above and beyond our duties, but also we have a lot of fun uh, while we do it. Thanks, Jordan, and thanks, Jake. And I'm happy to tell you that you have won the award for the top team at Granular. So congratulations to our students here from the College of ACES working in the ag tech space. And that will be our last award for today. So congratulations to all the teams and a huge congratulations to their managers in making them successful and for making all of their teams able to work in such an effective way remotely this year in most cases. And for those of you who had on-site experiences, thank you for keeping your students safe. We're gonna ask you to stick around for just a minute so that we can get a photo of any of the students that were a finalist or a winner or both um, in this round. Thank you all for sticking around. My name's Shelby, I'm the event coordination intern. I'm gonna take a few screenshots of you all, just gonna give a few seconds for um, the others to drop off the line. Um, thank you guys for attending and congratulations, everyone. We still have quite a few people here on the line, so I'm gonna give a few more minutes. 